welcome back to my channel everyone Alex here and I had to run and snatch my pearls baby because my face is just royalty right now okay do you see this beat amazing and it's all thanks to these Royal and Land Nickel Revolution brushes these are from the complexion kit this has six brushes that are a must-have in this collection but my favorites of this collection so far are the Revolution BX45. Let me put the other ones down. That's this one right here. It's actually a small foundation brush, but I'm going to show you guys in the demo how I use this brush. And the second favorite of mine is the BX00. And this is a second favorite of mine. I'm also going to show you how I use this brush. Love these brushes. If you are a professional makeup artist or just a makeup junkie that wants something different in your makeup kit or collection, these brushes from Roller Land Nickel are a must have. If you want to know my favorites in terms of the order that I love them in, or you know, my favorite is to the least favorite, it would have to be the first one is the BX45. And then and the BX00, the BX20, the BX25, the BX40, and then my least favorite of the bunch would have to be the BX35. Also, Royal and Land Nickel are always having some type of sale. Like this past Labor Day, they had 50% off. They're always having some type of sale, and so they were gracious enough to give me a code to give to you guys. I'm gonna put it down in the comment section and slide it across the screen. It's Bunny20, and you're gonna get an extra 20% off your entire order of whatever it is that you decide to get from Royal and Land Nickel, and I do hope it is the the Revolution Pro Series Complexion Kit. This kit is a must have for your face. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop talking and let you guys get into the demo so you guys can see how I perfect my complexion using this six piece complexion kit from the Royal and Land Nickel Revolution Pro Series. So to get started, I'm going to go ahead and dot my foundation all over my face. I'm using the Lancome Tint Eye Doll Foundation. And now I'm going in with the BX20. This is the flat top kabuki brush. And what I love about this brush is that it's not completely... It's flat, but it's spread out at the tip. So what it does is it allows you to spread the foundation a whole lot faster. I can spread my foundation and do a full face of foundation with this in less than 60 seconds. Like as you can see, it literally just grabs the foundation or grabs the product and spreads it evenly across the surface of your skin. It's not scratchy, it's not hard, it's really, really soft, but it picks up the product beautifully. As you can see, I am fully covered. I did not do any type of correction or anything like that. And in literally, I counted it, it's like 50 seconds for me that I can do my full foundation, just straight foundation on my face with this brush. Wow, I'm so happy with this. Next up, I'm gonna do my concealer. I'm using the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Amande. And I'm going to be taking this in the areas that I always put my concealer. And I'm going to be using the BX45. This is my favorite brush out of the bunch. And I'm using this for concealer because even though it's the small foundation brush, it blends beautifully, you guys. If you don't get any other brush out of the Revolution series from Royal Land Nickel, you need this brush. This blends out concealer amazingly like I almost dare to say that it's better than my beauty blender look at that it doesn't tug at the skin under your eyes it's not scratchy it's uber soft it just blends like a dream and it picks up the product or the concealer really really well I was so shocked to see that such a soft brush could do such an amazing job and I'm gonna layer on some more concealer um, in a heavier fashion so you can see how this blends out look at that it makes really clean lines, and once you start to buff and blend the concealer out, it gives you the most beautiful finish. No lines, it doesn't shed underneath the eyes, it doesn't poke you in the eye or anything like that. It's just a dream to work with, and I love this brush from Roland Nickel. Thank you. 
Next up, I'm going to be using the BX40. This is the large foundation brush. And what I'm doing is I'm going to set the concealer with this brush. What I love about this brush is that it's soft and it makes really clean lines. I have brushes like this that are super hard and there's no way I would ever put them underneath my eyes. But this brush from Rollerland Nichols Revolution Series is just amazing. I used it to set the powder because I loved how soft it was and I noticed that it got into all of the cracks and crevices underneath my eyes, all those lines under my eyes, and it set everything in place. Look how clean that line is. So if you're into baking your concealer, this brush is a must have to just pack on that powder and make sure everything is locked into place. Now I'm going to take the BX00. This is a large domed kabuki brush and this is every kabuki owner's dream because it has a handle. This brush feels amazing on the skin. It feels like a cloud on your face, you guys. Once I'm setting my um, foundation with this, as you can see, it holds onto the powder, but when I swirl it, it literally releases more powder. So there's way more powder in this brush than appears to the naked eye because I literally pushed all the powder down when I put my brush into the powder jar. But this blends and sets foundation amazingly. It doesn't leave you with streaks or cakes. It doesn't cake up anything. It holds on to all kinds of powder. So I'm in love with this brush. I love setting my foundation with this. It's amazing and you totally need it. Here's my skin up close. So moving on, this is the BX35. This is considered the highlight contour brush. Um, I'm not too happy with it when it comes to doing a powder contour with this. I think it's way better suited for a cream contour. And I like it to go down the sides of my nose because it's so square and so precise. But other than that, I'd probably use this for more of a cream contour than a powder contour on my skin because I'm not a fan of, like it doesn't blend too easily, I would say. So I would say use this brush for more of a cream contour or a very very light contour it does uh, cut your face like cut the line not literally cut your face but it does cut the line or cut your contour really really well so if you're into that then this is a great brush for you it's uber soft and it's just a really nice brush but i think it's better suited like i said for a cream contour instead of a powder this next brush is the bx25 and this brush is actually called the angle kabuki brush so basically it's a kabuki in angle form and what i loved using this for was applying my blush i think i have found my new blush brush if you follow me on instagram then you know my favorite mac brush had died so this one is totally going to replace it it holds on to product really really well but it doesn't oversaturate the entire brush with product as you can see there i am just do you see how much pigment it releases onto the skin? It just blends so effortlessly. It's so soft. The powder stays in place. It doesn't fly everywhere like some other angle brushes do. And this brush is just amazing for your blush application. This next brush, again, I'm taking the BX45. And what I'm gonna do with this is do my highlight with this. I cleaned up all the concealer off of it. I'm using it as a highlight brush. You guys, look at that. Look at how amazing this brush is. The BX45 is, oh, I can't even talk about it right now. It's so awesome. So if you don't get any other brush out of this collection, get your hands on the small foundation brush, the BX45 from this Revolution Pro Complexion Kit. Like they sell them by themselves. So this brush is all you need to do your concealer. Again, this is a small foundation brush so we can do your foundation and this can do highlight like no other, you guys. Look at how it just blends out everything. I'm in love with this brush. So here is my complexion once I'm all done using all of the brushes from this six piece set. Okay, you guys, as always, thank you so, so much for watching this video. If you love any of these brushes, please let me know down in the comment section what you think about them. If you have any of these, do let me know how you've been using them or if you use them for what they're intended for or if you're like me and you like to experiment and test and see how best a brush can work for you. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching and subscribing if you have. Bye.